create objectives using markers with a live check. We're going to create a little scenario. So we're going to collapse this and then we're going to go down to Wehrmacht and then to men and then scroll down and we're going to choose a soldier with the MP44. This is going to be our player. Next we're going to go to props and then in the search box we're going to type in ammo. And the ammo box we want is down here. It'll be mines in German. We're going to go over here next. We're going to choose the O4 faction. We're going to collapse this. We're going to go to Red Army and then to Men. And then we're going to choose Captain Summer. This is going to be our first objective, which is to kill an officer. So let's double click the officer and we're going to give him a variable name of Ivan. And that's it for that part. Next, we're going to drag him into the barn and raise him up a little bit and face him that direction. We're going to choose triggers and a trigger without a size. We're going to place that on the map and we're going to edit the trigger. And in the condition box, we're going to put the following exclamation point alive space. Ivan. Then in the on activation box, we're going to put a hint. Hint space quote, you have eliminated the officer. Exclamation point, end quote, and then semicolon. And that's all we need to do for that trigger for now. Next, we're going to go to F6 markers and we're going to scroll in. And we're going to choose an unknown marker with the question mark and place it right about here. I'm going to double click it and we're going to name this marker Ivan 1. And then we're going to change the color to red. You don't have to change it to red. It's not required. And just hit OK. Next, let's go back to the trigger. And we're going to edit the trigger. And then after the hint, give it a space. We're going to type delete marker space quote Ivan one end quote and then semicolon. And once you hit that, just hit OK. And let's do a quick review. Let's go to our map. All right, so what's going to happen is this is going to check to see if the officer is not alive. That's what the exclamation point part of it means, not alive. So when this officer is not alive, Ivan's not alive, then this hint will go off and say you have eliminated the officer and then it will also delete the marker Ivan 1, which is this question mark. And that's it. All right, let's save that and add alive markers. All right, that saves the scenario. Let's play it. All right, so we're going to go up to our officer. If we go to the map real quick, you can see the marker. And we can go over here and officer will be inside the barn. And as you can see at the top right, it says you have eliminated the officer. And if we go to the map, the marker has been deleted. So here's an idea. How do we do this for multiple objectives. All right, let's go back to the editor. So doing this for multiple objectives, let's go to the map and scroll in. And here's how we, we're going to do this. We'll just copy this, press Control C, and I'm going to place two objectives, place right here. Next, we're going to go to F1, and then props, and then we're going to type in radio. So our next objective is going to be a radio tower. And I'm going to choose this guy right here. So this is going to be our radio tower. So we're going to edit this. We're going to give it a variable name of tower. And then hit OK. We're going to go back to the map. We're going to edit the trigger and change Ivan to tower. Then we're going to change this to you have destroyed 
destroyed the tower. The radio tower. And then we still have to do the marker, so for now we'll just go OK. And then we're going to edit the marker. And we're going to name the marker Tower 1. And hit OK. Uh, we could actually change the marker to something else. Let's change it to an objective marker. That'll work. So the tower one is the marker name. So let's go back to the trigger and change this to tower one. All right. And that's it for that objective. The next objective, close this, and then we're going to go to 04 collapse this and then to red army and then we're going to go to cars and we're going to place down an ammo truck and we're going to place face this guy this way we're going to edit the truck itself and give it a variable name we're just going to we'll just name it ammo one there we go now let's go back to the map and move over here. So we know where the truck is. We're just going to move the icon and the trigger over here together. We're going to change the icon to a objective marker. And then while we're in here, the marker name is going to be ammo truck. And we just hit OK. So if you hover your mouse cursor over the markers it'll give you the name of what the marker is same for the tower and same for the officer now let's go back to the trigger and we're going to change this to ammo one and then we're going to change this to you have destroyed the ammo truck and then we're going to go here and we're going to change this to ammo truck. All right, so now we have three objectives. Now, if you wanted to make this interesting, let's go to the map. And if you look at the objectives, you see the markers, but you don't know exactly what these markers are for. I mean, you know they're for objectives, but it doesn't tell you anything. So what you could do is, if you give the markers a name, so let's edit the marker, this one will be the ammo truck and now it has a name so now if you know where the ammo truck is at then you got an idea okay this is for the ammo truck and let's do the radio tower radio tower and now it has a name go to the officer officer and there you go Let's move the officer marker and objective over. And now they have names. All right, let's save that and test it out. All right, let's go to the ammo box and pick up a charge so we can destroy the radio tower. And we're gonna have to kill the driver of the truck because he might take off with the truck. All right, if we go to the map, now you know exactly what the objectives are. Oh, this is an ammo truck, this is a radio tower, this is an officer. So you don't know where the officer is. He might be in the barn. We don't know, but we'll figure it out. We know where the radio tower is and the ammo truck. So let's take out the officer first. Alright, so we killed the officer at the top right is our hint. It says you have eliminated the officer. Go to the map. The marker is deleted. Let's take out the truck here. The grenade. Damn! And hint at the top right. You have destroyed the ammo truck. And then if we go to the map. The marker has been deleted. Now let's take out the radio tower. And let's actually set the timer on this. So the timer is set. Let's run over here. 
should be safe. So we have the mat. Radio tower is left. And as you can see, there's no uh, task or anything. You could use a briefing to kind of describe what each objective is. That's what I would do. Oh, there we go. You have destroyed the radio tower. One more thing I want to show you guys is with these multiple objectives, if you wanted to end your mission complete, then here's what you can do. Choose a trigger, trigger without a size, place that on the map anywhere, edit the trigger, and what you're going to do is, in the condition, you're going to put exclamation point alive, Ivan, and then space, and then two at signs. Now since we got two more objectives, here's how you save some time. You just highlight those, press control C, and then space after the at, press control V, and then what you're going to do is you're going to just change the names. So this one was ammo one for the truck, one space after the at, press control V, get rid of the and sign at the end, and change this to tower. And that's it for that. And then in the on activation box, you're going to type left bracket, space, right bracket, space, call, space, B I S underscore F N C underscore end mission. And that'll be one word and then semicolon. This here is going to check to see if Ivan, the officer, is not alive. This here is going to check to see if the ammo truck is not alive. And this is going to check to see if the radio tower is not alive. When all three of those are dead, then the BIS function and mission will execute and the mission will end complete. So let's save that and uh, test it out. All right, let's get our central charge and Go to the map, here's our objectives, ammo truck radio tower and officer. Let's take this guy out before he Damn! decides to drive off. And let's take out the officer which is inside this barn. There we go, so we've eliminated the officer. Marker for it has been deleted. And let's take out the truck. Ah, uh, run. There we go. Destroyed the truck. Go to the map. Marker for the ammo truck has been deleted. And let's destroy the radio tower. And there we go. This gets to safety. Is the radio tower. All right, you have destroyed the radio tower. Marker is gone. All right, guys, I hope you like that and uh, you find that useful. Add that to your scenarios or do your scenarios differently like that. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.